Hello and welcome back to another video. In this series, we're going to look at some common beginner mistakes and how to solve them. Today, we're going to look at when the tail of that ski feels stuck or gets a bit heavy and stops us from turning and how we can help with that. And so as I take off here, what you might find is sometimes this tail feels like it gets stuck. As I'm coming around here now, I'm going, but this, this tail just doesn't want to let me turn. As I come around here, this just tail gets a bit stuck. With this, I find a lot of people get a bit stuck because they haven't shifted their weight from one foot to the other. All it means is when I'm coming around the hill, I'm kind of locked into the hill. That's essentially like a red light. When I want to go down the hill, I've got to let my skis go a little bit and that's a green light. But if you watch on the video, you can see that if I keep my ski hanging on there, I'm trying to both green light and red light at the same time, which is why it feels a little bit strange. So what I do to help me out, if I'm standing on my right foot, I think about moving more of me, so my butt and my body, I move that on top of my left foot. So it can be as simple as just stepping up the hill. As you can see, as I do this, this right foot eventually comes off the snow. That's plenty then to give me a green light to go down the hill. We're gonna try this moving across the hill because it does feel a little bit different. So before I start any turns, I'm just gonna try this moving across the hill. Let's have a go. What I'm thinking of is if my body is twisted inside here, I'm looking to recalibrate myself as I step up onto that left foot. So let's give it a go as I slide. So here I am, I'm on my right foot as I come across. What I'm looking to do is get most of me from my right foot up onto this left foot here. I know I've been successful when my other ski comes off of the snow. So I'm gonna try it here the other way. So I'm on my left foot, I'm on my left foot here. I recalibrate myself, I get up onto my right foot. And as you can see, my left foot then came up into the air as I go. If I take this into some turns, all I'm gonna do is commit to that foot and let the skis green light themselves down the hill. So I'm coming here. So essentially I'm red light now with this right foot. I come up onto the left. That gives me the green light to come around the corner with no worries. So I come around red light. I come up, recalibrate, green light as I go. Red light to stop. As I'm here right now, the way I think about it, this left leg here is my, is my red light. That's what's stopping me from sliding down that hill there. So what I wanna do is, I wanna come off of that one, recalibrate myself onto the green light, which is my new outside ski. So what that looks like as I'm sliding, I come towards you here, I'm on this red light here. No, no, I'm not going down the hill. But when I want to go, I recalibrate myself onto it and I come around. So it's red light, green light around. Red light gives me that control and keeps me going across the hill. Green light lets me go down the hill and around the corner. To summarize, I find moving from one foot to the other helps me release that ski so it doesn't get stuck as I'm skiing around the corner. Thank you for watching. 